Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Barry with the Scrag Guys, and today we have a viewer requested video of doing a $50 upgrade to the Hazel of the Root Bloom Commander decks. So, if you guys saw our video, we did our own uh, our own versions of this precons because we felt like there are too many humans in these decks, right? And so uh, I decided to help this guy out. He's like, hey. Um, I'm just getting back into magic, but I love, I've always loved, uh, squirrels. I had a squirrel deck back in the day. So now that there's like this pre-con squirrel commander, get, got back into it. I wanted to do tokens. I want to do a combo to finish out the game. And I got 50 bucks to allocate to this, uh, upgrade. So as you can see, it's 117 right here. This is the pre-con deck. And then we decided to, uh, upgrade it with about $47 worth of, uh, upgrades right <clears throat> first let's look at the uh mana curve uh so we're living at two and three you know as as, as, <laughs> as most decks commander decks are nowadays uh i really miss battle cruiser magic and so these are the cards i decided to take out of the deck um some of these cards i felt like uh they're uh cheaper mana cost versions of of their of their abilities and other ones i just felt like ah it's it's great early game but not so great if you drop it in late game uh or they just they just really don't do as much uh, as you want them to do for this deck especially when you're trying to be a little bit more uh more sh like competitive not competitive like cdh level but just like you want to play a little bit more higher power and so the only thing I was like kind of circling on is whether to take out Bellager's uh, Weather Bloom. We do have a decent amount of life gain in this deck. So this one, Jaded One, who is the user that, that requested this video, you can uh, decide to put this back in if you want. But I kind of just, I took it out because I was like, oh, like I want to uh, have uh, all these other pieces in here instead. But yeah, definitely check that out. Just, you know, put it back in if you want. Uh, took out some, uh, some sorceries. We needed just a little bit more ramp, uh, and then there were other versions of these cards that I felt like were better at instance. Uh, same over here, uh, Mask with Nexus. I just um, it's it's good to have like scrolls because we do have a, a bit of scroll anthems in here. But uh, as far as like this is like great in Voja, but uh, our commander is more focused on tokens, so it doesn't matter if they're scrolls or not. So I decided to to um, replace that with something else as well, and then Willow Haven, Wolf Willow, and these ones I found like a sorcery for you know rampant growth is better, I feel like, and then uh, Binding of the All Gods, a uh, Beast Within. I do like Beast Within a, a bit more, and then I decided to take out all of the tapped lands uh, in here. <laughs> Just because I'd rather have basics than tap lands. So let's look at the deck right now. So uh, we decided to keep Garuk in. Uh, it's really easy to get to that emblem. We do have enough creatures to to self. We have enough uh, sacrifice engines to to be able to pop this, make the two wolves, uh, sacrifice it at someone's end step, and then get it to seven, get the emblem, and still keep him around. Uh, Liliana is really in here for her static ability, uh, being able to sacrifice things at instant speed, draw cards. You just got to be really careful, though, just because you can really draw yourself out of this. <laughs> so you wanted to have the foods in here, so I kept the Gilded Goose in here. Uh, Haywire Might is great to, to get rid of those pesky The One Rings. But here, see, Vasir Seer is one of those cards uh, that was a cheaper version of a card we had taken out. Um, Marionette Apprentice is great as far as a, um, like, uh, what's it called? Like a global lose one life situation. Um, because this counts artifacts and uh, creatures and artifacts that go to the graveyard. Each opponent loses one life, which is, uh, you know, I like that a lot more than, uh, the vampire. Because I know you get to gain life with the vampire, but this one counts two different types of permanence and i felt like that was a little bit more important uh process innkeeper we kept it in here for the life gain we're gonna be making so many squirrels <laughs> thorn fault forager, forager is a great it's it's on theme it's a mana dork you can possibly get two mana uh and, and you can go ahead and tutor for squirrels 
Uh, Valley Rock Holler is a card that could possibly end the game with just one swing, right? Because when it attacks, each opponent loses X life and you gain X life, where X is the number of squirrels, bats, lizards, and rats you control. So this could really just end the game. <laughs> uh, see, we have uh, we added Camilla the Seed Miser in here because it gives our squirrels menace. And it, it doesn't combo with the Peregrine Took that we have in here, but it could still create... Uh, some squirrel tokens and we have other ways to also make food so it could possibly just you know you have like academy rector out peregrine took out and and it could really kind of get out of hand but the main combo in here was these two creatures experimental confectioner and peregrine took which obviously goes infinite with all those rats and if you have a valley rock holler you just have this one you don't even have to freaking you don't even have to freaking connect with this guy that's so crazy um champion of lambholt i decided to put in versus the eight mana boar just because this can get big you can get up to like 14 15 in one turn which is crazazy and then just not all your creatures just unblockable uh chatter fang what is a squirrel deck without probably the greatest squirrel and one of the squirrels that combos off with another creature that we have pitiless plunderer so you know it has to be in here uh circle of dreams druid a nice guy's cradle for us a nice budget guy's cradle right <laughs> to hear is great because it's gonna make all of our tokens into mana rocks uh more un more opportunists another way for us to to gain light or to 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 uh, draw cards uh nadir a nice attrition i forgot maybe it's not called attrition but i forgot what that that uh that mechanic is called but yeah a nice way for us to gain and uh ping our not ping but like you know uh drain our opponents of life uh scurry of squirrels i kept it in here i just you know <laughs> it's funny uh tyler's provisioner uh warren soul trader is another card that we decided to I, I i decided to add in and if you have one of these type of effects out in the battlefield then this pay one life doesn't really it just negates itself you just sacrifice and create a treasure token which is nutty um hazel brewmaster is a fun card uh you can get you can possibly get something pretty powerful off of a graveyard and not all your foods have those activated abilities so that's cool uh Merkwood bats could end games pretty much it that could that card could just end games by itself well not by itself but like with any of your token producing uh abilities right like pitiless plunderer sacrifice outlet and all that stuff so yeah poison tip archer just another you know um a draining effect toski <laughs> god of squirrels uh d force hermit kept it in here the odd acorn gang which is <laughs> A fun one. You can have all your squirrels buff up one squirrel and then just swing out with it, and then it gives our uh, squirrels a um, a draw ability as well. And then Protean Hulk, another great way to to just get these two out. So yeah, because <laughs> it just gets six matter or less, right? Uh, for our sorceries, we we decided, you know we decided I, I decided to to put these uh, two drops in here because it was really lank lacking um ramp honestly uh gruesome fate could also just end games as well if we produce enough tokens and people's uh life totals are low enough yeah uh we needed a little bit of reanimation so we just, i put in uh the victimize in here shamanic revelation is great because we can draw again be careful with this because we could end up drawing our whole deck uh swarm yard massacre is a crazy board wipe in here which is fun for me uh and then i decided to keep in the casualties of war and the decree of pain another way for us to wipe the board draw a bunch of cards and really get out of hand uh let's look at our instance uh, we uh we added in the assassin's trophy i'm just gonna say we i just keep mm, messing up and <laughs> uh ended up deciding to keep the cash grab uh we had to add in the heroic uh intervention the best board protection in the game um added in the court of calling for us to be able to get our combo piece possibly uh at the uh, at the end step of somebody's turn and then we kept in saw in half which is a crazy card in, in itself you can get two like tireless trackers or two uh, pitiless plunderers and just really get out of hand right there and then second harvest kept that in as well let's see uh, for the 
artifacts i don't think i added anything in skull clamp was already in here idol oblivion i love this card it's sort of a pet card so if you're in any type of deck that makes uh you can consistently make a a token a turn uh being able to draw an extra card is great for two mana and then you know if you need a blocker in case of emergency you get a 10 10 out of it chitter spitter decided to keep this i, I was kind of torn about this whether i wanted to keep it in or not but then it gets your squirrel so buff and then make squirrels so it's doing a lot i think uh for the enchantments i see i don't think we added anything uh here gotta keep the squirrel nest in for the theme bastion of remembrance is great and then yeah beastmaster ascension can get out of hand fast and then we're looking at 34 lands uh decided to keep at least one tap land in here we got the scry land in here and then we got the haunted mire just because we can get that with nature's lore so yeah man that's that's really that's really what we what we did with this uh added 47 dollars in you have some lines that you can take to go infinite and in the game you have uh you know uh, things that synergize with your tokens and uh yeah hope you hope you enjoyed this video man uh let me know what you got what you think a jaded one in the comment section below and uh yeah and I uh, hope you guys like this video too as well. Maybe you're thinking about uh, pouring 50 bucks into your pre-con for Hazel of the Root Bloom. And if I gave you any ideas for this, uh, for, for, for what direction you want to go in, please just give me like a, a thumbs up. All right, guys. All right. Have a good one, guys.